Taurus, welcome back. Um, 33, 33, Empress 33. Thank you for subscribing. Taurus, love. That was fast. May 2022. Hierophant. Taurus energy. We have Libra down at the bottom. You guys are getting justice, okay? Or maybe some of you guys are in the court system here. Could be dealing with a Libra or Taurus. Taurus, love. May 2022. We have Page of Swords. Okay, Taurus, right away, guys, okay? <laughs> These messages are flying out. You guys got a stalker or someone just watching you, and they're obsessed with you because the energy surrounding the Page of Swords when he flew out is the devil. So here we got Taurus. We have an air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and then we have the devil, Capricorn. Someone's watching you guys this month. They're obsessed though. They're obsessed over you. So I would definitely say stalker, okay? Because the devil is surrounding the page of swords. Yeah. They could be young or just got childlike energy here. You know, and just a young, uh, youthful person, or they could be older. And then they just act, you know, young or immature, like, you know, because he's sticking out. The page of pentacles is sticking out. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Taurus, you guys got someone obsessed with you. Taurus love. May 2022. Taurus love. Yeah. Nine of cups. Taurus Love, May 2022, Four of Wands. Okay, someone wants to marry you, Taurus. So for some of you guys, in the month of May, you guys could be getting a proposal, some type of engagement, some type of contract, okay? Like, I've, I'm getting that someone is getting ready to propose to you. My ear is ringing. Okay. Yeah, communication, King of Swords at the bottom. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is Libra's energy here. What is it? A uh, Taurus love. These fell out fast. Okay, we have Seven of Cups, Two of Cups. Yeah, I feel like. Somebody before had a lot of options, and whoever I'm resonating with, they had a lot of options, either you or this person, and they're like, no, you know, Taurus is it. This is it for me. Taurus is doing it for me. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, there's love on the table, big time. They're waiting. I think they're definitely watching you, and they're waiting so your ships are about to come in, Taurus, for love. So if you guys, you know, been wanting love and stuff, you're going to get it. For some of you guys, it's coming in this month. Taurus, love, May 2022. Yes, five of pentacles reverse. Good, good, good. This card is good in reverse. It means you're coming out of lack. And for a lot of you guys, it's financial lack. And then for this is a love reading. Yeah, six of cups. Okay. So, um, yeah. Somebody from your past also wants to come out of the cold with you, okay? So, I don't know what happened in your, your past concerning them. But someone in the past is, you know, they want to re reconcile. They want to come back in. They don't want to be left out in the cold anymore. Because that's your main energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this Five of Pentacles is, yeah, someone wants to come out of the cold. That's what I'm getting. They love you. I feel like before they might have been like just having a lot of options. They're from your past. Six of Cups. They definitely might come in bringing you flowers or some kind of gift or something. Five of Pentacles reversed. They're done. Because it's right next to the Seven of Cups here. Nine of Cups. You're their wish. I feel like so out of all these options... 
you're their main option. Yeah. That's why they're watching you. They're ready to marry you, okay? Because the Page of Swords is looking at the Hierophant, okay? This person's got marriage on the brain for you this month, Taurus. So somebody wants to marry you. And it, it looks like, you know, they haven't told you, right? That's what I'm getting. So I'm thinking of Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords can mean tricky energy, but it, it can also show up um especially if um someone is hiding something and they're not telling you so like you know like they can hide love from you and the seven of swords can come up do you see what i'm saying guys yeah knight of swords okay taurus love um may 2022 taurus love may 2022 the world okay so taurus mostly most of you guys have been completing now the cycle so in May, you guys could be completing out a cycle. Time is fluid, everyone. Or you're about to complete out a cycle. You may be a fixed sign. So we have Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio here. I feel like they're super obsessed with you. They're definitely obsessed with your body. This person from the past is definitely obsessed with you. Yeah. Okay, one more card. Taurus Love, May 2022. Taurus Love, May 2022. Emperor. Yeah, I feel like this person matured. Remember we saw the page kind of peeking out in the deck? Yeah, look at all these cards. Look how this is, everyone. It's a lot. So we got the Queen of Pentacles. We have Judgment, Strength. The Moon is peeking through a little bit. Yeah, I feel like they don't want you to know. They're watching you, but they don't want you to know, Taurus, this month, okay? And we're picking up energy for this month, May 2022. So they don't want you to know they're watching you, stalking you. I got stalker vibes, okay, because the devil was there, you know, surrounding the Page of Swords when we looked at it. Yeah. This emperor is a heart worker. Yeah. And he's definitely... um He's ready to um, commit. So stability. Okay. This person could definitely be older than you. That is watching you. That wants to marry you. Because I see marriage. Especially with the um, Hierophant over the Four of Wands. Okay. So that's how it is there. It's over the Four of Wands. Yeah. Commitment. Commitment's on the table. Yeah, the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, you have the Two of Cups, Seven of Cups. I'm getting before that this person may have been confused about who is their Two of Cups, who's their true love. But I'm getting they're not confused no more. It's because they're watching. They're watching you. And you could be a, you know, we are, this is your sign anyway, Taurus. Okay, the, the higher fan. Someone's watching you this month. They're watching you and they're obsessed. That's what I keep getting. And it's because you're their wish. You're everything that they want. So we have Taurus. We have Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Wands. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Every sign is here. They're watching you because they, they know you're their soulmate. Because remember, the main energy at the bottom of the deck was Six of Cups. Yeah, you're a true soulmate. And take it as a ply. For a lot of you guys, you think, um, you know, it's okay if it's Twin Flames or whoever you think it is. So Twin Flames, soulmates. Yeah, that's what I see. You're their wish fulfillment, Taurus. Beautiful, but yeah, just <laughs> you might even catch them. I don't know why I thought that, but okay. So somebody's spying. You know, you probably already know who it is, Taurus. You, they see you as wish fulfillment. Yeah, I'm hearing you check all the boxes. <laughs> all right, Taurus love. A room for Taurus love, May 2022. Taurus love, May 2022. Okay. What is this one? We have, it looks like a bee, <laughs> um, a bee. Is it turned wrong? 
Let's see. It's this way. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, no. it's I'm right. It says growth. So this person I feel like that you were dealing with in the past, they grew up. Because we had the emperor out here. That was the last card I pulled. So, yeah, growth. There's some kind of growth is happening. So, maybe this emperor wasn't an emperor. He was a page. And then he he grew to a, you know, he went to a king, okay? And now he's an emperor. So, he's able to embody, like, all four kings, okay? So, this is growth. Yeah, someone grew up. And they're ready to commit. That's really what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like in the past, they weren't ready. So I feel like um, that's where this Five of Pentacles came in. So it was upright before, okay? And this is a love reading. So it's upright um, before in the past. You had to leave this person out in the cold because of what they did. And that's, that's different for all of you guys, okay? So by this card coming out in reverse and staying in reverse, it's letting me know that he, this person that's watching you is done with that. They have grown up because this is what this um, rune means. It means growth. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that this person grew up. They're mature. They're handling their business. They could be a business owner, CEO, anything, an owner of something, anything. Or either they just got the mindset of just, you know, go-getter. Um, this is Aries energy here. You know, he's ready to go. He's got, you know, his family on his mind. He's a father. Um, he could be a father. You see what I'm saying, guys? He's, he's ready to commit. There's a commitment here. Okay, let me write that one for Taurus. Yeah. There's major commitment. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's an engagement. It's a ring. Um, some type of next level up. Okay? Like you guys are going to the next level. That's why they're watching you. Your wish fulfillment. And they want to come out of the cold. Yeah. This guy grew up. Whoever this person is. Male or female. Okay? But this person grew up. They could be a fire sign. So that's all I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for subscribing. Until next time, Taurus, take care. Bye.